I'm now joined by our NFL insider, Ralph Akiano. Ralph, Jets started the mandatory mini camp on Tuesday. Coach said it's going to be very similar to OTAs. Nothing much is going to change except that it's mandatory. So everybody was here, correct? Yes, including Makai Becton, who has been absent for most of the spring. Uh, we didn't know why at first, but uh, his, he did have his first child. So, uh, you know, there was a good reason for him not being here for yeah. at least part of the spring. But he's here at this mini camp and. We didn't really get a good look at him. He was way on a backfield, just working on the side with trainers. Uh, you know, we don't know what kind of shape he's in. We don't know what kind of condition he's in. We're really not going to know the important facts about Makai Becton until you get to summer camp, and maybe even then, not until August. But at least he's back, and he's still trying to come back from that knee injury that ruined his season last year. Yeah, week one it happened, obviously. Let's move on to this offensive line because that left tackle position because coach said that it's going to be a competition between him and George Fan. George Fan also coming off an injury. What does this do to this O line? It's interesting. You know, right now it is uh, Chuma Doja and Connor McGovern as the starting tackles, so we don't know what it's going to do. But, uh, you know, it'll be an interesting summer competition. And I think the big key is whether there's a competition or not will depend on whether Becton is back in time for the start of camp because, again, he hasn't played since last September. Which is a huge difference between football shape and in shape. Absolutely. So he may be in shape. But there's conditioning work he's going to have to do, and I cannot imagine any scenario where in the first week of training camp they turn him loose. So, you know, it might not be until mid-August where there's a competition. If George Fant is ready, he's probably going to be the left tackle. But, you know, Robert Sala did say that, you know, they will think about it. They'll let the two of them compete. The loser of the competition will end up as the right tackle. But the big piece is Mekhi Becton's health because if he's not fully healthy, if he's not the same guy, it's really not much of a competition at all. And again, Elijah Vera Tucker move to the right side. So yeah. the line's going to look a little different. Same. Right. And you can't look. Every left tackle wants to stay there. Guys would like to know what position they're in and not switch. But you can switch. We've covered plenty of tackles and guards over the years who have moved across all four positions. It's a little hard sometimes to play center for some of these guys, but a lot of them can. Or they're good enough athletes to switch from either spot. So if Mekhi Becton has to play right side, he's a good enough athlete to figure out how to play right side. Uh, one more day left to Jets for their mini camp, and then they have until July until training camp starts. And then I won't see you until late July. How I sad. Oh, but don't worry. We'll be back. Yes. Hi, right, Raf Acciano. I'm Janae Coakley.